We've named our seminar Leadership for Success, and the reason that we have is, is order, in order to make a very provocative point right at the start about the nature of our content. So we want to emphasize that the real purpose for our seminar is all about success. And we're not talking about success defined as a bunch of material wealth. We're talking about success as any individual may define it for themselves. So they set the destination. And then we talk about leadership simply as a vehicle that they will use in order to achieve that success. It happens to be one of the most important vehicles they can use, but we need to keep it in context. It is a, mean, a means toward the end of achieving success. One of the root issues that I've often seen with leaders who are not effective is that their focus is very much on themselves alone. So in our seminar, we're talking about leadership that is really leadership that goes beyond oneself. We make that point as, as clearly as we can. And we're, we're striving to have leaders that are not focused on themselves, not leaders who want to get it done their way only, but leaders who will listen and are willing to work collaboratively with others. I think it's especially important for each leader to have a very clearly defined personal mission statement. And the reason that that's important is it really answers why. It's not so much what the leader is trying to accomplish, but it answers why the leader wants to, to uh, accomplish certain things in this time that they have on this earth. So having a personal mission statement is, is in effect a, a definition of the destination that they seek to arrive at over the course of their life. So let me talk a bit about the importance of having mentors. As a leader, I believe we should always be learning. And there's many ways to learn. We can learn from experience, we can learn from training. But what I found in my life that mentors have meant something very special to me. When I was 20 years old, I had a mentor that was 30 years old. When I was 30, I had a mentor that was 40 years old. I am 55 years old. My mentor is 72 years old right now. The reason I pick guys that are a little bit older than me is because they've been through what I'm getting ready to go through. They have experience, they have knowledge, and they, and they, they invest in me and give me some insight uh, to how I can be successful and how I can help other people be successful. But that comes with a little bit of an obligation. For me, I'm now a mentor for other men, younger men that, that, have, that are going down my journey, that, that have questions, have things they need to know, and I'm happy to, to share what I, what I know, what I can teach uh, to let people and help people become successful. We founded our nonprofit organization, Global Leadership Partners, only two years ago. The mission that we have in mind for our organization is to make the world a better place, one leader at a time. And that might seem a bit simplistic, but it is our deep conviction that providing leadership development training for the next generation of leaders that focuses on a sense of purpose, principles, values, and integrity. We know deep inside that having leaders with convictions in these areas will make the world a better place by leading in that way. For me, I'm somewhat new to the organization I'm just intrigued by the thought of investing in people. I know for the world to be a better place, we need better leaders. We need stronger leaders. We need leaders that are focused, that live life with a purpose. And to have an opportunity, I'm a bit humbled, I can come on board and invest in people and give uh, what I can in terms of what I know and, and my history and my experience to help people become successful.